Well, it has been quite a year for Gwyneth Paltrow. She made headlines with her guest starring role on Glee. She was nominated for an Oscar for her song Country Strong. And now she's written a book, a brand new cookbook, which is already climbing the bestseller list called My Father's Daughter. Gwyneth joins us right now to do a little cooking here this morning. Gwyneth, good to see you. How me are you? Me too. Good. Thanks this, for having me. This was a, a wonderful tribute to your dad. Did Thank you. Guys, you. Did you guys cook a lot when you were when growing up? Yeah. We started when I was kind of 18, 19 is when we really got obsessed with it and really started, you know, watching the food. Network when it was really instructional, and we'd yeah. sort of cuddle up on the couch and watch the shows, and then re try to recreate the meals, and it just was the kind of thing that was like a real bonding experience yeah. for us. My father was so important to me because he showed me the importance of family and those values, and that you know if you invest in those relationships, you have a good life, and yeah. then if you sit down and have a great meal, or you cook together, you do something homemade, and you have a nice glass of wine, yeah. you know it's like that's living. Makes all the so difference. So I wanted in the to world. share that. And everybody congregates in the kitchen anyway. So it's true. let's let's get cracking here. What what do we have? What are some okay. of your your favorites? One of my favorites is the the macaroni and cheese, and what I like about it is um, you can take the basic thing and do it in a, in a different variation okay. of ways so you know for the kids I like to put tomato sauce on the bottom and for myself sometimes I'll do like gorgonzola in it you know you can the fun thing about it is at the end of it you can kind of put them in different ramekins yep. and do them for different ways so, so, this what, do is we, some, so what do we have here so this is some mascarpone cheese okay. and some parmesan okay. I'm going to put it in the pot mm -hmm. and you want to grate some nutmeg for me sure all right lot. get in there uh oh and I'm going to put a little milk. <laughs> now, Gwyneth, I hate to sound like a guy who hasn't been uh, spent much time in the kitchen, but how am I? <laughs> how do you actually want me to do that? <laughs> Never mind. Let's just use a spoon. That one. sounds good. <laughs> so a little nutmeg in there <laughs> and some pepper. I will not be uh, coming up with a cookbook anytime you soon, won't. as the folks at home know. That's okay. They've seen me. Okay, so now you've obviously got it over over the hot stove here. Just kind of let it melt. That's what right. kind of consistency are we looking you for? You want it like this. This is what it kind of looks like when it's done. Okay. It's sort of like a nice creamy sauce. Uh -huh. And then it really couldn't be easier. You just take some cooked macaroni mm -hmm. and you put enough sauce in so that it's nice and coated. And you said you like to put tomato sauce in there too. The kids like that. Well, you know, I. It's funny if you put tomato sauce in the bottom, they think it's like a little surprise, you know. Exactly. So what I like to do for them is at the bottom of the dish, you take some tomato sauce. You could have a jarred one, or you could. There, I also have a good recipe for a slow cooked tomato sauce in the book that I always have in the fridge, just because I use it in so many things. There's a nice little taste to it too. Huh? A little something different. Yeah, exactly. So if you do that. Yeah, I'm gonna pour it in. Yeah, go for that it. That much I can do. All right, good. <laughs> Perfect. And a little over there. there. Just a couple. There we go. Great. Now. You can also do it, like I said, in these little ramekins. So you can mm -hmm. just put tomato sauce in the bottom and, Got it. you know. And, and so the, the power of television here, how long do we have it in the oven for? Um, not very long. You know, you just want the topping to get nice and brown and Browned it's out. hot already. So no burning yourself? Okay, good. No, it's good. And that's what it looks like just all done. Just a little done. more par parmesan on top and, and in there. And like I said, you just want to kind of keep checking on it to make sure that you don't burn it. Yeah. And that's what the finished Ten product minutes, looks like. Ten minutes, something like that. Looks good. Um, I'm actually going to give it a shot. What else do we have here that I know that you have? Uh, so this is um, your favorites. This is a, a hot niçoise salad, mm -hmm. which is um, a recipe I came up with in London one day. I was, uh, it was very cold, but I was in the mood for a niçoise salad, so I thought, let's do a hot one. And it's great because it's a one-pan dish. You crack the egg, you know, you get the tuna, everything in there, and stick it in the oven, and it's kind of done. And it's an elegant, nice dinner or yeah. lunch. It's super easy, too. It's super easy. It's great. You say those look nice and healthy. I'm going to go right back for the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. And uh, the tomato sauce. I've actually never had macaroni and cheese with a little tomato sauce in it. It's kind of fun, right? Mmm. It's very good. Let me ask you this. You have one cookbook now. You yes. have enough recipes for another one potentially? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. And this it's is 20 years of my cooking in this one book, so maybe so in 20 years. It's really, really great. No, it's a tremendous success, and it's, uh, it's great to have you here. Thank, Thank you for you doing so this for much. us this morning. Thanks really, for having me. Really